Welcome back, Ibuan. Wow, talk about a way to respond to a loss. After getting beat by Denver, the Lakers came right back around to beat the number one seeded Oklahoma City Thunder. And much like Denver appears to have their number, the Lakers veered out the Thunder's number. Definitely a bit of a matchup thing, but they simply have outperformed the Thunder pretty much every time, with that being particularly true for their defense, which is really a rare thing for them nowadays. Believe it or not, they held the Thunder to under 40% shooting as a team, something that very few teams have been able to do to them this season, and especially if we're talking about containing their leader, Shea Gilgis Alexander. They were able to limit him to only 20 points on 38% shooting from the field, a massive difference compared to the usual 31 points per game on 55% shooting that he usually puts up, and don't take that for granted either. Between Reeves, Reddish, and Dinwiddie, they did a tremendous job on him. They were the three that took on the individual matchup here, and they certainly did not back down from him, though it definitely was not them alone. They might have been the ones to match up with him, but the Lakers did a really good job helping out on SGA around the rim, throwing late double teams and even the occasional shadow coverage from Anthony Davis. And then even more importantly, they did that without leaving shooters wide open. And give credit to Darvin Ham here, he drew up a great defensive game plan. We bash him when he makes a game planning mistake, but now let's give him a bit of credit. Now he obviously needs to maintain this, which I have my doubts about, but give credit to both him and the players for executing the game plan to perfection. And again, that unfortunately has been a rarity for their defense. When it comes to containing a top 5 offense, you really need to do 3 things. Number 1 being to contain the primary scoring threat, in this case being SGA. Number 2 being to not give up a bunch of points or wide open shots to everyone else while trying to do number 1. And then number 3 being to finish the play by dominating the rebound battle. And while we talked about number 1 and 2, they were absolutely great at doing number 3 as well. Out rebounding OKC by 22 rebounds alone in this one, which was actually 24 prior to the main players being pulled. And that really can be the fatal flaw with this Oklahoma City Thunder team. If you can even somewhat contain them offensively, it's not that difficult to rebound them, and especially if you have the personnel to do it with, which the Lakers definitely do if they're committed. And in my opinion, this may have very well been their best rebounding game all season. If you go back and watch the entire thing, they had everybody boxing out, even the guys like LeBron, Reeves, Reddish, and Prince who have been very inconsistent at doing it. And then to put the cherry on top here, they play great offensively, getting a big first half from LeBron, AD, and Reeves, and then an even bigger third quarter from D'Angelo Russell, who already led their team with 26 points, and truly doing it in D'Lo fashion by the way too, making some of the most difficult and insane 3 point shots that you will ever see. And that's pretty much all I got to say about this one, it was all around a great game for their team. And with that in mind, I'll let you hear from their team about their win tonight. And after listening, let me know your thoughts about this game in the comments down below. I would suppose you believe in the hot hand theory. Hell yeah. I mean, it seems like that's what I do. I mean, at some point I get high. Games get, games, it's exciting already, but it just brings a little different excitement to it. Feels good. Yeah, it has happened several times in the last couple of months for you. For folks that haven't, you know, hit three threes in the manner of, a, of about a minute and six seconds, what is the actual feeling? Like, how, what is the best way to describe what the basketball feels like when it's in your hand like that? Um, I think my teammates find me when I'm hot. I think for me, it's, it, it just it makes it easier when I when I can stretch the floor like that and it allows the lanes to open up a little more. I mean, that's what shooting does. So it's a pleasure. You guys are now eight and one since the middle of January after a loss. Of course, a tough one uh, to Denver, D'Angelo. How important was it to play well tonight and just find a way to get a victory against a good OKC team? Team effort. That team's well coached. That team's got everything they need to be efficient and, and win at this level against all the teams in the league. They do it every night, so for us to come out and get one, add to our resume right now, it's huge. Last one for you. While you're focused on just the game to game, how much are you aware of the standings and trying to find a way to fight and claw to get off? I know it's close. I don't keep up with it, honestly. Let me worry about that? No, I just yeah. show up to work and try to just win, honestly. Yeah, it makes sense. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, talk about the second and third quarters and just how you guys locked in. Um, I think we did a, a good job of keeping bodies in front of bodies. We know they're one of the best um, one-on-one -on -one teams in the league. Um, they live in the paint, but they also been shooting the ball extremely well from the, uh, from the outside as well. So um, just trying to keep bodies on bodies, and then if they was, you know, if we get them to miss, we clean glass. And we didn't give them many second chance points, and that was key. Uh, I was going to say rebounding tonight, uh, definitely the key for you guys. Been getting beat in that category. You won it by 17. Yeah, absolutely. We uh, we definitely uh, understood if we go make a team like this miss and if we you know if they do miss we got a clean glass and uh, I thought we did that from start to finish.
It's been a, uh, I was going to say, Dan, uh, been a much bigger sample size as of late. Offensively, you guys have been one of the better teams in the league. D'Lo got it going tonight. UAD, everybody. Uh, what, what's that been like for you guys to kind of unlock that end of the floor? Yeah, we understand that, um, you know, when the ball is popping and everybody's feeling comfortable, um, you know, we, we've been playing some really good basketball offensively. Um, I think tonight we had too many unforced turnovers, which we work on. We know we can't do that, but all in all, I think, um, you know, obviously D'Lo uh, D-O caught fire. Uh, TP was, uh, you know, um, sensational, you know, tonight for what he's shooting ability. But everybody came off the bench, you know, I think um, – I think Spence, you know, and uh, I think he had a plus 35 off the bench, you know, so that was a um, big time for our ball club too. Is this, you guys are inside of 20 games now, is this the, should this be the standard defensively for you guys? Well, I mean, obviously we know we, I mean, every game is different. Every game is going to present different challenges. We understand that, but this is one of the better offensive teams that we have in this league and uh, we did a good job. We did a good job from start to finish and you know, we could take some key moments from this um, and apply it to the next, in the next game. Do you use the term flammable to describe former teammates like J.R. Smith, Mike Miller, like having D'Lo with, with that type of, I guess, skill set and confidence, what type of X factor uh, can that provide? Um, obviously, we know. Um, you know, I think I talked to you the other day about, you know, that D'Lo can get going and uh, where he can make three or four threes in a row, you know, and break the game open. Um, and he did that again once again today. You know, um, he had that uncounting ability to just, uh, once he see the ball go through the hoop, he can run off three or four of them. You know, get the crowd into it, um, get us hyped, and uh, you know, able to you know take the momentum from the game. Lots of uh, games for you guys in, in, in quite a while. How did you feel about your just the whole team on that end? Yeah, uh, that's a really good ball club. Um, you know, a lot of guys who can play one on one and score, and uh, you know, guys came out was playing great defensively. Um, you know, taking pride in the one on one matchups. Uh, Shea, uh, Jalen Williams, uh, Chat. Lou Dort, like everybody was just you know, moving their feet and keeping their guys in front, which limited a lot of the um, overhelping. So uh, it's really good defensive uh, game by us for sure. We're right there, you know. So, uh, you know, any event we don't get top six, you know, you got to go through the whole play in um, kind of process again. Uh, you know, we don't really care what, you know, CBN. Uh, we proven that last year. You know, it doesn't matter. Um, I think this goes like with anyone. You know, you just try to get in, and then you know, playoffs is a different animal. So, um, you know, we don't look at it as you know, we wanna, we rather have this matchup than this matchup. You know, for us, it's just about getting in and uh, tackling each opponent from there. What did you see from Austin as the initial on-ball guy on Shea and just kind of the, the job he did and then following him certain directions? Yeah, uh, he did a great job, um, you know, moving his feet, knowing that Shea likes to, you know, get to his <clears throat> reverse between, uh, kind of like a little push off and, you know, get to his midi or, you know, get to the lane, use his pump fakes and draw fouls and things like that. So I think we did a good job of not putting him on the line. Uh, you know, they're already going to make tough shots. Uh, which you don't want to combat that with putting them on the line as well. Now they kind of get it going. So um, he did a great job, you know, starting off on him of just making it tough for him and uh, funneling him to, you know, our defense and get, you know, great contests. And, uh, you know, he missed some shots early, but uh, made a couple down down late. But, um, you know, he already did a good job. Can you share a thought that you had when you saw D'Angelo shooting those three threes in a row? Uh, that's what he do. He he's shown that he can get hot uh, at any point in game, and uh, when he made the first two, um, you know we kind of knew the third one was going up. So um, you know he tried to play like he didn't want to shoot and throw it to Braun and 